One way to open an existing Google Docs file or to create a new one is to do it from the Google Drive screen. However, it's also possible to open or create a file from the Google Docs home screen. So this is what Google Docs looks like in a web browser, the Chrome web browser or a Chromebook. And we're going to go over the different icons and what you can do. So typically when you open up uh, Google Docs by going to docs.google.com, you'll see something like this. Um, recently they've begun showing templates for presets such as a project proposal or a resume or a business letter. But um, it's also possible to easily create a new file by either clicking the blank link over here, or if you scroll down, this little red uh, plus icon will pop up to create a new document. So you can click on that to do it. And then also you may remember in the Google Drive home screen, there's a new button which lets you create a new Google Docs document. Now below the templates are files that you've already been working on, recent documents. And there's basically two types of documents you'll, that you'll see. Google Docs files that you've created, as well as Microsoft Word files, which have a W next to them. The Google Docs files will be have this little blue icon. The Word documents will have a W next to it. Uh, but the good thing is, is that if you ha if you're using the Google Chrome browser or a Chromebook, and you have the uh, proper extension installed for editing Microsoft Word documents, you can basically click on this and edit them in Google Docs to a limited extent. And we'll take a look at that later on. Now, there's other icons all over here. I'll just go from top to, uh, top to bottom, left to right. Up here is the, is the menu. It's actually pretty limited. Basically, what it lets you do is it lets you switch to other uh, programs within Google's online office suite, such as Sheets or Slides or Drive. And that's, uh, that's the main place to organize your files. You, there's also some limited settings you can activate, basically, to change the language um, and uh, syncing. And we'll get into syncing later on. The other icons we have over here at the top is the file picker. And basically, this is a way to either search your documents or to upload new ones. So basically, what's going to happen here is it will show the different uh, files and folders that you have. Uh, but if you want to upload something, you can just click on this icon here, and then you can drag a file or select a file from your computer. Now remember, in Google Docs, you're, only, you're mainly going to be working with either Microsoft Word documents or Google Docs files. So that kind of limits what you can do with it. But of course, it, you can always use Google Drive to store other types of documents. And again, uh, there's a simple way to sort stuff that's been shared with you. Um, start items, which you've marked for special uh, follow-up, etc. A to Z, this controls sorting. Right now, it's last open by me, but then if I wanted to switch to alphabetical, I'd select title. This icon here switches between list view and grid view. So right now, this is list view. If I wanted to switch back to grid view, I would do that. And up at the top here, it'll show you which account you're using. I'm using my work account, ian at in30minutes.com notifications. Another way to this little, these nine little squares that will switch to other Google apps, such as uh, slides or sheets or drive, and then search. And again, search here is limited to Google Docs files and Microsoft Word files. So if you have a photograph or something, if you search for it, it won't show up in the results here. You'd have to go back to Google Drive for that.